Hi YouTube, it's me, Isoko Gal, and this is my vlog channel, Tawny Eyes 92 And um, yeah, I haven't made a video for this channel in a really long time. And the reason behind that is I wasn't exactly sure what I wanted to do on this channel. Um, but I have decided that I'm gonna continue making videos for this channel. Um, they're just gonna be more about um, they're gonna be more personal I like to say um, most of my videos on the other ones are kind of like jokey funny kind of videos with like silly stuff that I did at in like in high school stuff like that um, but this channel um, I'll probably be talking more about um, my life especially since I'm going to university now so I'll probably like let you guys in on what I'm experiencing for the first time as a freshman in university and um, yeah that's basically what this channel is gonna be about um so this vlog that I'm making after a long long time is about um, what's happened to me over the last week about so um on Monday this week I went in for surgery um, I went in to get my knee fixed and I have what is called patellofemoral syndrome which is basically the angle between my hip and my knee something or the other yeah I think I mentioned it on my other channel so you can check out one of my videos I'll probably link it if I can find it I think I explained it but whatever so I did my knee and I'm currently I have it propped up on a chair because it's completely messed up right now I went into the doctor today and the doctor said I can walk on it finally so I'll be able to walk on it as of today um, little baby steps so I'm still using my crutches um, but hopefully soon I'll be up and about again doing stuff that I want to do so I'll probably show you guys my leg okay so this is my knee and that is my knee immobilizer and it goes all the way up to my the my mid thigh and um yeah so that's basically it uh it's okay like it doesn't hurt i'm currently on pain medication and um yeah i suck at remembering times to take medication i'm actually supposed to take it in like a bit and um yeah so I'm doing that at the moment so it's kind of inhibiting me so I've been in my basement for the for a really long time right now because it's difficult for me to get up and walk around um, and it's hard on my leg so that has been down here for a long time so that's why I said why not make a video so um yeah I also want to talk about my hair so the last few um, months so I think maybe since um, when did I take out my hair? Probably February or March. I um, had decided that I'm going to cut off all my hair. So I had been relaxing my hair for years since I was about eight years old. I've been relaxing my hair and um, it's been like straight. And the thing is that because I was so young, I was not able to take care of it. So I didn't condition it properly. I wasn't able to um, put the nutrients and the moisture back into my hair that it needed. So my hair broke a lot. So I have really short hair. So for the longest time, my hair was like at this level. And my whole back, the back of my hair was, um, it was, it was breaking the worst because I didn't know that if with my, with our hair, if you sleep on a cotton pillowcase or something like that, um, it will, as because it's rubbing around, it's grabbing on your hairs. It like makes your hair break so my hair was really really short on the back but the top was really long so at that time I had no idea and but now I know I've learned and um, so I, I chopped off all my hair and I've been growing it so this is probably about um it's so March March April May June July so there's about maybe five months of growth it's really short I'll show you guys without my headband so this is my hair it's really short and it's really thick but um I find that I love having my hair all natural um, because it's easier to take care of one um, two I like the way it looks I think it suits me personally I look good with afros back when I was younger I had a way bigger afro than this and it looked good on me I looked cute right and I'm black like my hair is like this I'm not gonna try and hide it from anybody it's not a secret so um yeah 
so I've decided to go natural so you guys will be let in on that journey with me as well and um yeah as well as my ears I don't know if I've mentioned it I probably mentioned it in a whole bunch of videos but I've never really shown you guys so I have stretchers in these are tapers they're black um and basically I'm stretching my ears um I don't really have a particular reason why I'm doing it I just think it's nice I used to have a web but I had taken it out for my surgery and I don't plan on putting it back in for a long time only because um the first two times I've had it like it's gotten really like after a few months it get really swollen and like there's a lot of scar tissue so what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it out maybe later I'll decide to get it done again and I'll get it done it's not that expensive to do anyways so um yeah so my ears these are currently at four gauge so they're really small they're baby ears um but I like them I don't have plugs in right now I've actually been out of four for months now probably about a month and a half so not months so a month and a half and I plan on going to two really soon so you guys will I'll probably film it once I do it so you guys will see what is that's like if you don't know what it is and uh, yeah a lot of changes I'm going through a lot of changes in my life and I want you guys to be there along the ride for the ride with me and I hope you'll all enjoy it so I'll make another video soon um, hopefully before the end of this month because I'm super super busy especially even with my leg in in a mobilizer I have so many other things that I have to do like picking my courses for university and stuff so even that I'll let you guys in on that so um, I will be making another video soon um, I will talk to you guys later make more videos for the channel as well as I still go gal and yeah so I'll talk to you guys later bye